Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, um, well, that little Benz engine, still mugging with it too, and yeah, well, I guess we're waiting on a lost shipment for that economy engine, but we've got other stuff to work on. What we got right here, there. pull you guys in closer. We'll get a better look at it. Well, there. How's that? What what we've got, it's a little electric engine built by Whedon. This is a Model 106. And, well, they were built from, uh, I think, 1912 to 1918. So, they had a six-year run. And, uh, it's a... Well, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we have our line shaft up top, which is powered by an electric engine, electric motor, DC powered. Uh, well, we do have some work to do to it. here on the top there should be a matching pulley on this end but at some point in its life well eh, it didn't make it and it was just smoothed over but we'll see if we can address that uh, these pulleys are some sort of an alloy possibly lead um, so we'll see what we can do about addressing that, but I honestly think we can make this run again. Let me start taking this thing apart and, uh, we'll see if we can polish it. And well, here, I guess I can show you. See that? Nice and shiny compared to the other side. I think this will be... A beautiful beautiful little model if we can get it cleaned up and no once again we're not gonna paint this one guys but yeah it'll be a, a fun project but we're waiting on parts to show up that were lost I mean hell I ordered them on the well it was the 2nd of January and here it is close to the end of the month <sighs> so all right let me get this little guy here taken apart and we'll start cleaning it up so all right okay well it's the next day and i couldn't leave that little benz engine sitting there i had to finish that video i had to hear it run and well the link to it is right up there if you haven't seen it yet so all right we've got this here all blown apart we got our base and uh our line shaft our motor sitting right here so let's take a look at this motor and you can see that this brush right here this one isn't touching down here the bottom one no that appears to be making contact but our brush wire is not attached on either of them um, our field it's hooked up on that one but not over here so let's uh hmm we should probably check our field coils to make sure that this is even going to be something that's uh well usable let me pull you guys in we'll grab the meter and we're going to check for continuity across it well there we've got our old simpson 260 out uh analog gauges are amazing and i don't know i'm sure this will generate somebody's comment down below and i'm glad to hear it but i think these are one of the best meters ever made so what we're going to do is set this for continuity we'll check across our leads you guys watch up here at the needle and yes we're at zero so we have zero ohms of resistance I'm going to check it across this side of the field coil to ground. Uh, 
we do have continuity. Let's check from this side to ground. Oh, come on, get in there. That's a dirty connection, but... Alright, now let's check across both of them. You get a good connection. There we go. <clears throat> so we know that our field coils are good. Uh, I'm going to check across our armature to see if we have that also. I don't see it dead short. We do have resistance, but not a dead short. Let's check across them. Right, guys, I think we'll have a good motor. Let me uh, start getting this taken apart. We'll get this Simpson over here out of the road. And uh, we'll start taking that apart, repair our electrical connections, and, uh, well, probably put some oil on just the motor and see if the motor will run. And then, well, I guess I'll be taking it apart and cleaning it up. And, yeah, hopefully there's, well, there's quite a bit of good paint left on here. So it'll look nice when it's all done but all right I'll shut up and get busy so you guys will see this here in a second well hey guys it's been a day or two um i did finish the video on that benz engine i'll put a link to it no right there and uh well i was busy working on this uh, 106 model here and well i had the fan on in the background to kind of circulate the warm out here and you guys could barely hear me but there's what it ended up looking like. Um, sorry. I'll get you guys pulled in. We'll take a closer look at it together. And, uh, well, we'll go from there. So let me get you pulled in. There. How's that, guys? Well, we were able to retain most of the paint. And, well, once again, this one's all nickeled. And so we polished up, you know, well, everything that we could polish up. And, uh. Well, it's never going to pass for a new one, but I mean, look how old this is, guys. It's We didn't go to make it a new one. Um, we did repair our electric connections down here, and we had to make this switch for it, which it never, when I got it, it was never on there. So we now have a switch, and when I took it apart, there's this little piece right here, and it looks to be... A match stick and that was stuck right back here and shoved in there and I don't know how long ago that was put in there but if you look at it from the top down with that match stick in there that motor no sorry guys this line shaft runs right in line with it so obviously when junior got this way back when he had a problem with it wanting to sling this belt off I've not tried to run it yet, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not, but we're going to put that old matchstick back in there. So it's back in there. We'll shove it back where it was, and uh, I'll get these screws tightened down right here and, you know, bolting it to the base. We'll turn it around, and we'll hook our power supply up to it. We're going to see if it runs. So let me get these tightened down. All right. We're hooked up to our power supply. Our switch back here is open. We didn't put our drive belt on yet, but let's throw this switch and see. If we did this right, it should run. <laughs> there it goes. Running along pretty good. We're at, uh, well, one and a half volts. I'll show you guys on the power supply here. Maybe I can show you guys on the power supply. Right there. One and a half volts. It's three and a half amps, but one and a half volts. So, it runs really well. Um, let's uh, shut it off. We'll put our drive belt on here it 
have you guys priced these drive belts lately? Just these little spring drive belts. Holy cow, are they getting expensive for no more than they are. There it is. It's on there. We'll throw our switch again. Not quite as smooth as a load on it. You can see that shaft bouncing up and down. I'll turn it, you guys can get a look at the speed of that shaft. I'll pull you up. So yeah, it's not a not a very high speed toy, but. Well, you don't need it to be very high speed for these little accessories that a person would learn with it. But, uh, and it is, it's just running right along. And this is a, an impressive little toy. I like it. I've never seen it run before. <laughs> but yeah, really cool. Well, there you go, guys. That's a Whedon Model 106 built between 1912 and 1918 so I think all the world history and events that this little model has seen and it's sitting right here in front of us now and it's still alive and well and running good well it was a short video guys um, hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please uh, hit the subscribe button we are over a thousand subscribers now, and it's all thanks to you guys. When I tell you guys you're great, I really do mean it. So, once again, thanks guys. We'll get started back on that economy if my parts ever show up. So, thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.